Hey, Kat. Hey, John. How are you doing? I'm good, John. How are you? I am doing so good. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm just going to yeah. jump on all over you every time. I you love it. You all jump good. away. Just like a little flea. Just jump all over the place. <laughs> what are we doing here, Kat? We're recording a podcast. And what do we do on that podcast? We talk about mistakes. Yours, mine, other people's, historical figures. We call those hysterical mistakes. And sometimes, John, sometimes... We talk about poop knives. We talk about poop knives. Mm -hmm. We talk about Australians. We talk about bison. Right. Um, but that's not what we're doing tonight. Oh, what is it? What is it tonight, Kat? John, you know what we're doing. I mean, I do, but I like to. I like to keep <laughs> up that feeling of suspense. You know that 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 Hitchcockian feeling of what's going to happen. It's so psychological. What are they doing tonight? Mm. Well, mm. Mm. I think you're going to be disappointed. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We maybe are. maybe I, did I set did I set the bar too high you did. with Hitchcock? Is that okay? You okay. did. Um, okay. But it's funny you say Hitchcock, mm. filmmaker. We're doing something tonight that is oh. has has a lot oh, has a lot to do with filmmaking. Okay, John, we're having another cinema mistake with the lovely and talented Patty Lynn. Patty Lynn, hello, yay! Hi guys, hi Patty, hi, hi. hello, <laughs> welcome back. Thank you, uh, thank you for thank having you for me back. Of course, thank you for continuing to come back. Yeah, it's amazing that you continue to come back. And we're <laughs> always grateful and a little bit surprised every time, I think. <laughs> yes. It's and a pleasure. So it's a pleasure, you guys. No, uh, and I mean, I I still have tons of personal mistakes to tell you about. But, uh, you know, I'm happy to talk about a movie as well. All right. Some, well, keep compiling mistake. those. We, we are definitely going to call upon you at a time. Okay. Yes. In the future. I'll be re I'll be ready. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, um, I I think was this which whose idea was this movie that we're doing tonight? Was oh, Patty? this movie was all Patty. Lynn. <laughs> all right, Patty. Well, then yeah. why don't you please mm -hmm. do the honors and and let our listeners know what movie we're going to be tearing apart tonight? Well, John said he wanted to do something for Halloween. And, you know, I, was I mean, it, the timing kind of, worked. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're mm -hmm. a little late now, but uh, right. well, at the time, no, the timing of us watching it worked. Yes. The timing of us talking about it, maybe not so much. No. Yeah. Right. Right. So I was trying to think of like a Halloween, a Halloween -y movie that we could watch that would be, you know, considered a mistake. And uh, <laughs> this one isn't. It's not really Halloween. It's not it's really almost even a horror. Christmas movie, kind of. Almost, it, yeah. Almost. I wouldn't even. Yeah. I wouldn't even call it horror. It's not even a horror movie, mm. but, but it is. It, it, it's got some puppets in it, and so, <laughs> <laughs> and it's got some, and it's so got some real puppets. like like major gore in it. So mm, even yeah. though even though it's not horror, I felt like. It kind of worked, right? It's yeah. it's it's G two people. It's it it's <laughs> as everyone it's knows Gremlins. it. It's Gremlins two. Gremlins the sequel two. To Gremlins the new batch. This time it's personal. <laughs> That's right. This time no, it's, I'm sorry. Batch. No, it's actually Gremlins two. Electric Boogaloo. There it is. I think is that. Am I, am I correct on that? That's is what that? it says. Um, okay, good. I wish they had a dance off. And I was, well, I'm surprised they didn't. It's the I only know. thing they didn't have. <laughs> yeah. They really threw the kitchen sink at it this time. Yep. I will, I will tell you this. According to Wikipedia, it was considered a black comedy horror film. Mm. And uh, Rotten Tomatoes considers it a fantasy comedy. What so, is even, I've never even heard of that um, genre. Fantasy right. comedy. It's made mm -hmm. up. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, the first Gremlins was considered kind of a horror movie, I guess. But yeah, and I f what are you doing? Why? Why are you? What? What my are you? My wife is. It's her wife. Oh, <laughs> my wife is waving goodnight in a very special way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is she? <laughs> Kat now was I have like, all kinds of Kat ideas like of what's blowing, happening. Cat was like blowing kisses and waving uh -huh. in this really weird showy way, and I'm like, "What uh -huh. are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> but it's clear that her wife, whose name I believe is Leah, uh, was on the uh, on was behind the camera, if you will, and yeah. it, anything could have been happening. I'm just I'm just going to put that out there. I don't know what. But There's no yeah. way to know. 
Nope. No one will ever know. Um, what were we saying? Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I, it's important. It's important, I think, that we address G1 mm. kind of mm-hmm. to compare yeah. and contrast. We do. That's we fair. do need to That's address fair. it. I, right. I think, okay. well, so so G1, you know, that was considered to be a horror <laughs> movie, but it was very all over the place in terms of tone. And uh, sure. I mean, you could call it, you could call that one a comedy because that was kind of funny. You could, it was almost a romantic comedy. A romantic, horror, it was a little right? bit of a rom com. It was also a Christmas yeah. movie because it took place around Christmas. Hundo P. Uh, yep. And there, uh, Hundo P. I've never heard that before. You never? Wow. Uh, I, that's funny. You know, it's because it's because I'm one of the kids. I'm young and hip, and I know, uh, you know the, I slang the lingo. So okay, you sure yeah. do. Uh huh. You're <laughs> you're a regular Urban Dictionary. Ain't I just? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the first movie had a lot of tone issues. Mm-hmm. The second one, G2, I think mm-hmm. was playing on that. And uh, it 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 spans all those genres, but also it's just it's just like weird. And and I think also they were really leaning into the comedy aspect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Much more than yeah. much more than the first one. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know, like. There were choices that could have been made, and all of this is like visible in the Key and Peel sketch yes. that you pointed out to us before we watched it. Highly recommend anybody listening to the podcast check it out right after you listen to this episode. Just look up Key and Peel Gremlins Two. Uh, yeah, it's it's worth a watch. But like the directions that they could have gone after the first one, mm. like. I, you had to lean into something, right? Mm-hmm. You could lean into Christmas. You could like do the same story over again in a different setting. Mm. You know, I mean, this is these are the the sequel, the ways that sequels go. Sure, you could, yeah. I mean, like the the most bizarre sequel I can think of that actually was the most successful is Aliens, mm. right? And it's mm-hmm. super weird that it was. It's so much. It's like Alien and Aliens are both really good movies, mm-hmm. right? They're very, and, very different. Yes. Right. But if, if if you tell somebody that like how that goes, it's like, well, in the first one, there's like one alien and it's like, and there's a, a strong female lead who's right. like rescu- trying to rescue other whiteys. people. Right. <laughs> and ends up, and ends up like, <laughs> that, yeah, that, and I'm not going to. Can we talk about that <laughs> scene for a second? <laughs> in the tidy whiteys? Yeah. Why not? Can, Why can not? Can we just go off topic a little bit here? Because. Uh, Please. Uh, there is there's no top. There's no <laughs> that topic. scene that you're that you're referring to, Kat, in Alien, yes, where uh, Sigourney Weaver is in her underwear, mm-hmm. and she is hiding from the alien that is trapped on the uh, escape shuttle with her. Right. That scene, fucking brilliant. I mean, it is mm-hmm. so, it's so terrifying. That scene. It's it's simultaneously terrifying and titillating because she's yeah. in her underwear and she looks great. She does. She did. She did. Uh, I'm just, I just, I, I, I had to point that out. Can I, I point out a, a production I'm glad note? glad that you did. <laughs> production note on that. Part of the reason why it was so terrifying. And this is one of those things where if, I, like I, I discovered this by reading about the movie, the whole, the whole movie of alien from the very beginning until Sigourney Weaver launches out of the main ship in the escape pod, Mm -hmm. you hear ship noises, like very strongly. You're always hearing like the recycling of air Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. all these different beeps and buzzes and things. Mm -hmm. And then like, so you've got this baseline, you stop hearing it because it's happening constantly throughout the Mm -hmm. film. And when she launches off in the escape pod, it's all gone. And it's totally silent. Mm -hmm. And it's like this floor that you were standing on has dropped out from under you, like sonically. Mm -hmm. And now it's, you've got nothing to cling to anymore. You know, I I never thought about that before, but you're absolutely right. Mm. That Mm. movie is brilliant. And I read it, so it's not like I, I, you know, (laughs) I didn't discover it all on my own. But yeah, it's it's an amazing thing. It's a great movie. yeah, but that's not the movie we're talking about. No. <laughs> I mean, it's very similar. But it I mean, is. Listen, it's, it's very similar in the filmmaking and, you know, sort of the ambition of this project. Let's not talk I, I about mean, a great piece of art. Let's talk about the worst. Let's talk about shittiest. some shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, no, but I mean, these are the. Here's the thing: if you just look at the premise of Aliens, mm-hmm. it it sounds like it's like a typical sequel. Yeah. All right. This time, instead of one, we got a bunch of them. <laughs> right. and, we need and, more and, aliens. Yeah, and we it, more aliens. Yeah, <laughs> right. a new batch. Exactly. One could say. <laughs> and 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 we we still have our strong female lead, right? Uh, and sure. she's exposed to it again, but this time she's with like space marines. But she knows more about the enemy than they do, and so you've got the really woke space marine who's listening to her and doing what she says and taking her advice. And then you got the game over guy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody remembers the game over the, guy. Nobody Bill remembers. Bill Paxton was fantastic for that film. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are we talking about another great film instead of the one that we're supposed to be talking <laughs> yeah, about? We're, we're, it's actually the same great film that we've. We're yeah. definitely avoiding talking about this movie. I'm talking about yeah, no, because like, but that, but that's the thing. It's like okay, so wait, we now we get, we involve the military and we have more enemies. It's sort of <laughs> it's sort of similar to G two, <laughs> right? We, yeah, we have that's we true. have in that in that regard mm-hmm. and only. In that and regard, only in that, that right. regard, right. G two and aliens a lot more share they share that, and that's the only right. thing. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, for for people who maybe haven't seen this film, should we right don't kind of try to summarize it? <laughs> don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Please. This, this is a very short sentence. Go ahead. Well, it's yeah. really it's a hard thing to do because there really isn't a coherent story here. Right, but yeah. essentially, what try? they well, <laughs> kind of. Okay, great. Ass- essentially, what what they did was they just made up a bunch of different types of gremlins mm-hmm. based on the original gremlin, mm-hmm. but all of these gremlins have these different characteristics that are completely absurd, and then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing a good job. Of, I'm not telling you the plot. I think I'm, you're doing great. I'm not telling you the plot because, quite honestly, the plot is very convoluted. Well, I don't know where the plot is. <laughs> okay. Where do you right. find that? Is it under the table? So in, in G1, there was one <laughs> divergent gremlin, and that was Stripe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was he was recognizable by having a white mohawk. Right. Right. All other gremlins were kind of, you know, like they were the mob. They were not identifiable yeah. as individuals. Mm, nondescript. They were the yeah. back, background yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. players. They, they decided to fix that problem in the sequel. Indeed. Sure. Um, right. But, but let, okay, so let's start out with the setting mm-hmm. for G2. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? We're in what I'm thinking is a... A, a stylized New mm-hmm. York City. Mm-hmm. I, do, do we actually say it's New York? Or do I think it's they do, New York. Yeah. Okay, so it's New York. Yeah. We have a building that is named the Clamp Building. <laughs> That's right. right. <laughs> yes. Right? Now, Clamp, Clamp is, he's, let, let, let's just name off some, some things that identify Mr. Clamp. He's a billionaire. Right, he's a he's a, a a real estate developer in Manhattan. Uh, he, you know, it, it, it start. He's, I don't know. He has aspirations maybe beyond the typical. Um, my 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 feeling watching it was that this is clearly and remember this is 1990. Mm-hmm. Donald Trump, future president of the United States, was fully in effect at this time as a real oh, estate sure. developer yep. in Manhattan. Also yeah. though, Ted Turner was like a really rich guy who was doing a lot of stuff towards like one of the main things that the clamp building is fully automated, right? It is. It's it's like this is the the big selling point is Everything is automated. Nothing is like it's there. You don't need people to do different things. It's all computerized and run by a security mm-hmm. group who are in a room with a bunch of screens. It's like a smart home, but more right. 1984, like Orwellian kind of. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. I think the fun, some of the funniest things in this movie are the sort of voiceover automated voice. 
yeah. uh, announcements that are yeah. kind of very much background right. that are throwaway that are like very funny. There are a lot of throwaway <laughs> lines in this very movie clever. that were funny. I mean, yeah. let's let's yeah. give credit where credit is due. There are some funny jokes in this movie. I don't remember any of them right now. Exactly. But <laughs> but at the time they they're really funny. I and and yeah. you know, a lot they have a lot more jokes than they needed to have, right? You know, it's like you're saying right. like these throwaway lines were very funny. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's just just to let the listeners know. Uh it's been about 9 days <laughs> since we since we watched the movie. Right. Um and it was in my backyard, as uh, as seems to mostly happen, which is fine, and I like that. <laughs> I enjoy that. <laughs> but we were all also imbibing adult beverages, and uh, so and yeah. it's been nine and days. And also, I was really sleepy because I had just gotten back from a trip to the East Coast, so mm-hmm. I had jet lag, and I mean, I was struggling to stay awake through <laughs> most of the movie. Oh, I'm sorry. So you're welcome, listeners. This is what you get. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. We took notes. We took notes. We did. Studious notes. I think the funniest part, I'm predicting the funniest (laughs) part of this whole episode is going to be us trying to decode our own notes from the night in question. Totally. Yeah, I'm I'm already Mm -hmm. confused about everything. I love it. it. Can I just read you the first note that I have? Yes. It says, quote, that was fucking stupid, <laughs> unquote, cat. Yeah, that was me. I mean, that's applicable that was, to a that lot. That was like the first in... scene, and you were like, that's, so, that was fucking stupid. Well, so the first thing, so this, this is a Warner Brothers mm-hmm. uh, studio production, and the first thing that pops up is a Looney Tunes cartoon. Oh, yeah, that. I say that very loosely, because this was not mm-hmm. your classic Looney Tunes. This was a 1990-made Looney Tunes, so it's like second-rate Donald Duck, second-rate mm-hmm. Bugs Bunny. I think it, it was, was still Mel Blanc doing the voices. I mean, I'm I not sure. I don't but, mm, know. It just maybe didn't, not. Maybe not. You can tell the difference when you're watching an old, uh, right? You know, an old old Looney Tunes compared to something they've tried to pass off as you know funny. Right. Um, it was <laughs> stupid, and I was like, "Is this the like? I don't understand. Is this? Are we watching a preview? Like, what's happening?" It was actually, it's actually really part bad. of the movie. Yeah. yeah. It's like it well, can it, it contributes to the running time of the film. Absolutely. Kat, you are so young. I just want to point that out. You're just you're just a youngster. Just a little baby. But back in the day, <laughs> they they there used to be a cartoon. Mm-hmm. When you would go to the movies, there would be a cartoon at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Then there would be a serial, which might, you know, it would last a little while like, and it was uh, something like Fruit Loops or something. No, like an S E R I A L. Oh, okay. It was like about a murder of someone in high school in Maryland, but no, that's that's a whole different. You know, there would be like so, so, and and that so there would be something that you would be. It's like think of an episode, like a twenty minute episode of a show. I know right? what serial you, means. <laughs> oh well, that's so good. I'm it's, so glad. It's what you know. It was uh, George Lucas based uh, Star Wars off of the serials that he would go to Buck Rogers that he would go to see well, every weekend at the matinee. There you go. All right. Well, then it sounds like you can tell the rest of this story then. What I, well, what I'm saying is that that was probably entertaining. What this was was stupid. What what, what did I say it was, Patty? That was fucking stupid. <laughs> fucking that, stupid. That, I believe those is were the your full ex- quote. Yeah. exact <laughs> words that I wrote down. Yeah. I, I mean, wrote yeah, down it was second really rate, second rate Bugs Bunny bullshit. <laughs> nice. I mean, I it's, like it. It's like just from the very first moments of the movie it's it's telling you you don't know what you're about to see <laughs> yeah. this is not going to make any sense and you're going to be confused the whole time <laughs> and you might not like it Can I, I, all right this is this is my turn to go off topic a little bit Please. Uh, the first concert that i ever went to as a human in this life <laughs> uh was i went to see the band yes in their 9012 live uh, tour. And the thing was that there were, apparently there was supposed to be a, an opening act scheduled, but they backed out or something went wrong. Mm-mm. So I went to see this in Indiana and the opening act was Bugs Bunny cartoons shown on a screen above the stage Whoa. before the band came on. So they, they showed like, a half an hour of Bugs Bunny cartoons. Weird. And then, yes, came on and performed. What what year there, was this? 
I'm going to say 84, 85? Really? Okay. So they were probably good Bugs Bunny cartoons. Mm, no, oh, well, they were the old ones. They were, yeah, yeah. they were, yeah, the good, the good ones. ones. Yeah. But still, oh, that's at the beginning choice. of a rock concert, that's very odd. Right? It is weird. I mean, now, yes, is a, is a, they were yeah. prog, you know, it's yeah. a, it's a pro, prog it's not rock. It's like heavy kinda, rock. And I, I, mm-hmm. Right. No, well, but some of their stuff got kind of heavy. I, I mean, well, but yeah. then, like, one song would last 25 minutes and it would have, like, an orchestra yeah. and then, like, a, a heavy guitar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's mm. that was yes. But yeah, mm. that, that, so in my life, it's not unusual for me to experience a Bugs mm. Bunny cartoon <laughs> before I watch something else. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sometimes uh, only in my head, but yeah. So, <laughs> well, that all, right, all makes totally sense. Totally off topic, now. but that's now that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. So we start <laughs> off with the with the with the bad 1990 Daffy Duck yeah. and Bugs Bunny, and it kind of I think it starts out with Bugs Bunny, and Daffy Duck takes over and quickly regrets it. Like he does. Yeah. Even I, even he knows he's made a bad choice to. I'm impressed in you phone. remember the the whole the tag or the the joke of that whole little thing. I don't well, you know, it. it comes in fits and spurts. I I, I remember <laughs> moments. <laughs> it's like surfacing from the water. Fair enough. Well, yep. uh, the, the second thing that, that I remember from that movie, <laughs> which I wrote a note about, was oh boy, racist music in Chinatown. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, oh, yeah. No, it's like, like, the first, it wasn't, right? the it first starts shot with of the like, movie. Yeah, the first shot of the movie is like in Chinatown because that's where, that's where the, uh, the Mogwai was from. Like his yeah. owner right. was still there. That's where Mr. Wing and his yeah. shop of curiosities right. uh, existed. Yeah. But it, yeah. and I will say, at least it wasn't the. It was something I mean, it was different. It was close right? enough, though. It was, it was, it was pretty. It was close. similar. Very it was close. similar. May as yeah. well have been. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was pretty close. Yeah, and clearly that guy had a contract that he had to be in the second movie, but it was not. He didn't. Yeah. They didn't <laughs> for very long. They didn't say they, how long he had to be. And then in. they were like, "Well, we don't know what to do with him, but we got to put him in the movie, so we'll just kill him off in the yeah. first scene." Let's just, let's and they literally did. They they yeah. like it, it's like Mr. Clamp's organization comes to talk to him to offer him money to give up his store so that they can make this development on top of it. Right. And next thing you know, he says no, and then you're watching the news, and they're like, "Oh, Mr. Wing died, so this building can go up." <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's like wow, they didn't even bother oh, wow. to like. Did he get whacked? Like how? Like what? what Wait, happened? so that the, did, that building was supposed um, to go up in Chinatown? Yes. And it so it that was, building it was the Clamp Center or the Clamp Plaza. Sorry, which Trump Plaza, Clamp Plaza, right, and, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But that's yeah, but it, the it was, the, pla- it, the the building where the whole movie took place was that was supposed to be on top of Mr. Wing's. Shop? I don't know that the. I think the building was not part of Clamp Center. Oh, Clamp okay. Center. Let me let me go to. Wikipedia. All right, check it out. Check it out. Cats. <laughs> cats. Let me go to the plot. Our fact checker for the evening. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope, they kind of skip right over. The, wow, they don't even yeah. give Mr. Wing. It just says care. Mr. Wing dies. Yeah, that's kind of what the movie did. It was on I screen mean, for what about more two can seconds. You say? Yeah, and so, with the milky eye, you know, the, so what the I would, smoke in the pipe with the. Mm-hmm. So I think because Gizmo, the hero of this movie, one hundred percent, Gizmo, he's hanging out with Mr. Wing. Mr. Wing gets killed, and then he's waiting in there for Homeboy to come grab him. I forget his name. Doesn't matter. Uh, and then they immediately <laughs> go to work at that building. So I think yeah. he was just he, Mr. Clamp, Trump guy, is just buying up all of Manhattan. Right. Well, the, right. The Clamp Center was supposed to happen in Chinatown. And if you remember, here's I the thing. I don't, don't remember the name of the male lead. <laughs> I think we're spending uh, too much the time. The guy yeah, who's are. not Phoebe Cates. <laughs> Never mind. That's, the uh, guy who's not Phoebe Cat, Cates. <laughs> yeah, the guy who's not Phoebe Cates. The guy who is Phoebe <laughs> Cates' is fiancé, essentially. The dude essentially. guy, yeah. Yeah, the dude, 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 what, dude uh, bro. Kat, look that up. What's, the, his, what's his character's okay. name? Billy. 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 
Right. Yeah. If you remember, Billy mm-hmm. was tasked with adding more trees to the sketch right. of the Clamp Center, which was going to be in Chinatown. Okay. Right. right. I see. So right. that was another development right. that was going to be even bigger and better than the building right. they were in. So right. clearly right. the Clamp Plaza already existed, but the Clamp Center uh, was going to exist. It was under okay. development <laughs> in Chinatown. We got it. And these are not important this. points. Um, this is how <laughs> my brain has... So evolved or devolved or whatever in my life but, but i okay. remember more stupid time. details you've spent more time concerned about the plot than the writers of this movie i i will back that statement with everything i've got Kat. i had i been in that writer's room this movie might have been a masterpiece uh, or so, it might have never gotten made who knows? so uh the more importantly this yeah. this building that that the movie takes place in, okay, this Trump building, yes. uh, clamp building, clamp. It's Whatever. got Same it's thing. got all sorts of shit in this one building, including <laughs> a lab where they're doing all sorts of experiments, and this is where all of these new gremlins uh, get mutated because they're they've they've wandered into this lab and they're drinking genetic material from other living organisms. <laughs> Right. Well, the the irony is that the actual, the first, like the first gremlin that gets made, and you you will remember that there are two rules about yes. mogwai. You don't feed them after midnight and you never get them wet. Mm-hmm. Right. Because when you get them wet, they multiply. Yeah. When you feed them after midnight, they go from being mogwai to being gremlins. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. So if you remember the original, the time when Mo- when when the mogwai, gizmo, gets wet is not in the lab it's when he's in billy's desk and he comes out right and gets hit by water from the water fountain that's being repaired by some guy who's right. bitching about his job right <laughs> oh yeah i had, I had forgotten all I know, about that I, know, I don't know how you remember all this stuff john <laughs> Were you honestly remembering this? I, I don't I, remember. I swear i did not watch it again <laughs> I, I maybe okay. should have i've seen I really it twice cared about the yeah. Not recently. I, I mean, may I, have seen it originally back I, in 1990. I don't remember. I, I've mm-hmm. I've seen it twice in the last like couple of years, and I still okay. don't wow. remember okay. half as many details <laughs> as you do. <laughs> I will not remember them next week, but I know them now. So okay, so yes, set. you're right. He mm-hmm. did get hit by the water cooler, but there are a lot of other gremlins in this movie, like you know. Um, Googly eyed vegetable eyed, gremlin, gre- vegetable gremlin, googly eyed gremlin, Go- lady yep. gremlin. Right. These are right. all yep. they all <laughs> lady became gremlin. lady gremlin, who has lipstick B- on, big titty lipstick and gremlin, big titty, <laughs> big titty oh, lipstick gremlin. Like, man, we're laugh- man, we're laughing, we're laughing mm-hmm. about the key and peel sketch. It's it it makes fun of all of these different types of gremlins, but but anyway, was, yes, that was straight it, up my observation. I I, it, I object to that, <laughs> <laughs> but the. The, the the way that these gremlins got turned into these weird you know specialized gremlins is that they were right. they they were messing around in this lab. Why the right. my question is why is there this lab in the clamp building? I mean it's mostly just like offices and stuff, but then there's like suddenly <laughs> this lab. Patty, why not? <laughs> If Patty, if you don't have the lab, the movie doesn't happen. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Listen, uh, Doctor Catheter, played by oh God, that's right, uh, revered actor Christopher Lee. Yes. Christopher Lee, who played the Mummy, in in I mean, like this, yeah. he is a revered horror he actor. He was clearly hard up for cash. Yeah, he was mm-hmm. in the Star Wars prequels too but nobody talks about that <laughs> for was, he, was he grand moff tarkin no, no. he was no. uh was he sidious or something patty help me out here i don't i like you know i like to pretend that the prequels don't exist <laughs> i uh, shouldn't have brought him up I, don't, I remember less Shut about up. the prequels than i do about g2 fair enough <laughs> by the way every, i find everybody that very should... hard to believe after you watch Key and Peele uh, doing their bit on Gremlins 2, you should also watch the mm-hmm. Natalie Portman uh, rap, uh, the second one that she did on Saturday Night Live, which nice. starts off with, say something about the motherfucking prequels, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, so Christopher um, Lee, yes. was he the creepy infectious disease doctor? Oh, okay, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. 
Dr. Catheter. And what a name, right? <laughs> Dr. Catheter. Classic. Uh, I don't know. I, some of these notes that I wrote down, like I wrote. <laughs> yeah, what is I your, wrote, what's your next I note? I wrote, why is he dancing? Do you remember when, <laughs> when Gizmo came out and he started like dancing? For right. no yep. reason at all. No. Nope. I, I mean, the only reason was, oh, we want to show off our special effects. We want to show that right. we can do CG dancing. Um, yeah. And we got to sell mo more of those dolls. CG running. There was some CG running in there, too. The gremlin. Yeah. yeah. Was down the well, street. Yeah. Because in the original, like, Gizmo was mostly seen, like, above the yeah, waist. Yeah, and it was puppet. It was, it was a, puppet, a puppet. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So they yeah, so they're like, oh look, now we can have a fully operational gizmo. And it's like, yeah, you should have kept him a puppet. It was actually more believable. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna um just mention a couple of things because these are notes that that Mr. Clamp, I, I he looks like American Psycho. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um he does. And, and that I stand by. He he looks and I'm He's who's, got the hair. Who's, He's got the suit. Everything like he's got the teeth. Like he's mm. got the like big teeth. And then and then speaking of teeth, the next one I have is buck tooth mogwai. I oh, that's what I put. Oh, see the googly eye got one. I yeah. think he yeah. ended up being the googly eye guy, but at first, what you noticed, what I noticed, was the buck mm -hmm. teeth. It's fan favorite. Fan yeah. Favorite. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm gonna say, <laughs> this next one is my favorite note. That I wrote, and I have no idea. But it's ejaculating Twinkie. Oh my what? god! <laughs> there was apparently a Twinkie <laughs> that was just that. shooting cream filling out oh, of it. For some... Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. I that either. Hmm. I apologize to everyone, but I that note is there. You know what? I, I do. Any of I do remember turning to Mike at one point and saying, and saying, that looks like cum. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> I, it might be, that's, the, and it was in regards to yeah. the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, it was dark out. Trick. I don't know everything that was happening that night, but we, we did have some dessert. <laughs> I, we did. Oh, I think it was the scene that we, you're talking about, but somebody got <sighs> squirted in the face with a substance <laughs> that it? very much looked like semen. <laughs> yeah, and it and it came out of a yeah. Twinkie, and that's why it was like it was yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. god. oh god oh god um, but uh, yeah so here's mm -hmm. another thing i wrote down <laughs> alvin put down that dna <laughs> uh, see that's one of those throwaway lines that was actually really funny it, it was and that was definitely said by the the twins oh, and i believe yeah. they really are twins yeah, i have seen them. the twins yeah. the red-headed scientists twins who who worked in the they lab were, they were the yeah. scientists mm -hmm. yep. speaking of sequels those guys were in terminator 2 of course they one of them plays a guard at the facility a tascadero mental institute uh mental institution where sarah connor was being mm -hmm. held mm -hmm. and <laughs> the T-1000 shows up, uh, becomes that oh, guard. So you get the two twins yes. looking at each oh. other. Yes. Uh -huh. And then he, uh, the the T-1000 uh, spears him through the eyeball with a uh, finger spear. Oh, this is the, the liquid metal. Cool. Yeah. Michael okay. Patrick. Is that T-1000? I feel like, wasn't that it's the T-1000? Okay, if you say. I do. <laughs> okay. uh, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger's brand is T-100. Oh, Michael Patrick was T1000. Mm -hmm. Okay. John, I've seen this right. movie too many times for you I, to argue. Don't with argue. Me. <laughs> I believe it. And, it, and it, it certainly has nothing to do with that movie having a strong female lead. Oh, it you know what? You're right. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Lena Hamilton does push ups uh, in the first scene that she's in. Yeah, no, you're right. She I'm was jacked. Oh, my she gosh. Was jacked. She's jacked. She yeah. worked out like four hours a day every day. To you know, for a while yeah. to get in that kind of shape. I got yeah. nothing but respect for Linda mm -hmm. Hamilton. Yeah, same. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Word up. All right, uh, the next <laughs> back, after to back to the bad movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after ejaculating Twinkie, and this has nothing to do with it. My next note is Phoebe Cates is cute. Yes, yeah, she, is. she was. So she cute. is and was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So adorable. Very cute. Yeah. No, no mm -hmm. question. I mean, I think we all agree on that. Uh, <laughs> I will say that, okay, <laughs> there are two more that I will read because, again, I, I can't give you any more background than just 
the criminal mimes. Oh yeah. Criminal yeah. They're app- I don't <laughs> remember that. Apparently mimes who were criminals? Yeah, what? they were being yeah. carted away in the back of a like a police van, I feel like. I do okay. not remember this. Coming out of a, of a police van. I don't remember it at all. It just sounded like criminal minds, that's but then funny. it's criminal minds. I'm sure that's and so why was, they did that. I don't oh? think so. I, no, I don't think criminal minds oh. existed until much later. <laughs> it definitely wasn't out okay. yet. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. even know what you're talking yeah. about. I have no recollection that's of fair. this scene. Fair enough. That's fine. That's fine. You, didn't, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> yeah. And let me read. Can, can I? Oh, you go ahead. Oh yeah. Can, no. Well, there, there was one more that I wanted to read, oh, and it was because it's just it's it's just a string of words. <laughs> like, I, have, I have one of those too. Yeah, yeah. And it's tuna noodle cheese product chowder surprise. Ah. Uh huh. The, uh, the 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 chef lady. Yes. She's putting it. It was like in the microwave or something. Yes, she 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 had a cooking show. Yes, it was a microwave cooking show, and the dish <laughs> that she was preparing was tuna noodle cheese product chowder surprise. That's cute. And it struck me. I just I'm like somebody came up with that. Someone spent a lot of time. <laughs> I mean, <coming> up with- <laughs> it's yeah, like if even if it's just five minutes per word, like they should get a paycheck on that. <laughs> I this is another scene yeah. I don't mm-hmm. remember. But go on <laughs> again. No, I'm missing <laughs> well, uh, what? A, okay, besides the lab, there was a big, there was a TV studio inside of Clamp Tower. Yes, yes, I, yes. Or, and then yeah. there was the guy <laughs> yes. who was doing, um, he was kind of like the uh, late night movie host guy, you know. Yeah. Right, he was the, depending on where you're from, Son there was Sven-Gooley. the creature double feature. Yeah, yeah. Spanguli yeah. was one. Uh, that Then in, in, in Indiana, we had a guy who was specific. He was Sammy mm-hmm. Terry. Was his name? Everybody, but yeah, had like one in of different places, mm-hmm. everybody had one. But yeah, like growing up in Pennsylvania, I remember like we like WPIX or something like that. There was Sven mm-hmm. Gulli, There was yeah. Um, so he was like your late night horror yeah. TV guy who looked like a vampire mm-hmm. or like right. your grandpa or something. Who was he played uh, by? And, yeah. I, I forgot. Oh, I can tell you oh, that. Cat, yeah. Uh, he was played by, uh, to perfection, I might add, uh, Robert Prosky. Yeah, okay. that guy. I, yeah, I don't recognize his name. <laughs> oh, wait, did I get that? But, oh, okay. uh, yeah. yeah, he was Robert really funny. Prosky. And yeah, he, he was the guy, he, like, he was in there and that was the part that he played was he was the host of the horror show, but he became, he had wanted to be serious, the, the yeah. news mm-hmm. anchor. Right. And he sort of became right. that out of necessity throughout the show. So he was doing news reports while looking like this aged vampire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But let's mm-hmm. talk. Let's talk yep. about. Let's talk about Brainy Gremlin for a second. Oh come on! <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> so sure. one of the Gremlins is this super smart, articulate Gremlin who has like kind of a British accent. It was like a little bit, yeah. bit of a British or Australian almost. I think it was Australian. Well, they, it was kind think, of a mixture, yeah. but it turned out it was Tony Randall doing the voice. Right. Right. Bizarre. And for some reason, he got super smart. I guess he drank the smart DNA. <laughs> Well, okay. it was it, it, he. It was brain oh, hormone. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. That he drank, yeah. and, and I know because sure, I have yeah. a note here. the The part that I really noticed though is he drank the brain hormone. And immediately after drinking the brain hormone, suddenly he was wearing glasses. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. That happens. Yes, because you have to wear glasses to be smart. That's correct, because you've read so many books at that point that you've ruined your vision, right? <laughs> and <laughs> I want let the record show <laughs> Patty Lynn has donned a pair of absolutely adorable tortoiseshell shell. <laughs> Glasses. I'm so much smarter mm-hmm. now. There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so not only was he wearing glasses, but then at some point he was wearing a smoking jacket and he was smoking yeah. a pipe mm-hmm. to make him look professorial. He essentially Indeed. was Dick Cavett <laughs> in a gremlin. That's a That's, good I mean, observation. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Nailed it. Mm. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I re- go ahead. No, you, well, I was going to say, if you had to pick one gremlin to be your favorite gremlin, which one would it be? Oh, God. Mm. Oof. That's a hard one. Um, 
<laughs> the, the next note that I have is Flasher Gremlin. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> John's there was a gremlin in a tiny trench coat just going around flashing his genitalia-less crotch. <laughs> that that was his thing. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, but that's not probably my favorite. The one thing that I, I, I and I will note this, I, I liked oh, God. <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera yes! gremlin. There's so many appeared, gremlins in this I think movie. twice, and the, one of the... The Phantom of the Opera Gremlin is kind of like amazing for being the Phantom of the Opera Gremlin and also one of the only strong character gremlins not identified in the Key and Peele sketch. Right. Yeah. They didn't talk about him. They didn't talk about him. Right. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Uh, (laughs) um, (laughs) How about Vegetable Gremlin? Vegetable Gremlin. Uh, Vegetable Gremlin. Come on. Sprouted uh, into a bunch of vegetables. My, my favorite part yeah. is when somebody used one of the olives from Vegetable Gremlin to put into a martini. <laughs> <laughs> like, As like one plucked does. it off of him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fantastic. It may have been brainy. Uh, Maybe. Gremlin yeah. did that. He that's what smoke. you he, know smart people do he, he would he be would, drinking exactly yeah, yeah exactly yeah uh i yeah. i gotta say i love lady gremlin <laughs> <laughs> no patty don't say that i i put in my first response to the lady gremlin was oh, the God. smurfette of yeah. gremlins yeah because there's only jealous. one you get female to be, smurf you get to be the that, girl she gets to be yeah. the girl she she had giant <laughs> lips with, with red lipstick on and she uh had i she may have had a bow in her hair and um big boobs <sighs> for, for a gremlin. gremlin i mean like they, they were proportional <laughs> and apparently gremlin. like the smurfette of gremlins does get into some kind of a relationship it seems with clamp's right hand man oh right yes. uh the, I don't know about you, but I kind of got the feeling like something happened off camera and maybe he was a little ashamed of it, but well, I mean, you know, I don't want to. Lady Gremlin is coming on to this guy throughout the whole <laughs> right. Horror right. movie. Right. She's thirsty. She, she's she's yeah. wearing a wedding dress. <laughs> she's just like on top of this guy. In fact, one right. of my favorite lines go. from the movie is when she says, why won't you commit? <laughs> <laughs> she's been chasing him around and he's like trying to get away from her but then i'm sorry i gotta say i think they fall well then well no but i, I think, think at the end that's what you're th- is what happens because at that very right, end right. you know right, he's, he's like, kind of okay. trapped she's got him trapped right and then uh yep. and then he yep. gets this look on his face where he's kind of thinking it over and then he just kind of shrugs yep. a little like okay yeah i'll fuck yeah. her all right okay why not yeah. And that's the yeah, and that well. was pretty much like the end of the movie. So I think yeah, you yeah. Absolutely, absolutely are supposed to believe that he went off and fucked Lady Gremlin. Hey, you know I don't judge anybody. Two, two consensual, sentient creatures. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, I, I I do want to point. Out, I do have another thing from around that time in the movie, and I think it's when uh, when they're talking about how they're gonna how, how clamp. And whoever, like his, his assembled people, are gonna take over, and they're like, "We should make our move at four uh, twenty." Yes. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. "Wow, very funny." That would be such a big wink. Now it'd be so broad that everybody'd be like, "Really?" Yeah. But back then, it's kind it, of was, inside. it was subtle. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. But that's like that. This yep. movie has a lot, you know, of I guess you could call them Easter eggs. Uh, if mm-hmm. you yeah. really, you know, want to put the time into watching it, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Which we it. did. I don't recommend it. Uh, can I read you some mm-hmm. of my notes? Oh, please do. Uh, again, there's no timestamp, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I wrote salacious crumb energy because <laughs> the gremlins are very salacious yes. crumb eat. You know, do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and for everyone who isn't a huge nerd, uh, Salacious mm. Crumb is was the little uh, rat bat per- the puppet that was Jabba the Hutt's like pet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tiny yeah. little. Yeah. little like a head of beak. Uh, well, he's, yeah. he's almost a gremlin. I mean, shit. Yes. I mean, I'm exactly. Th- I'm thinking maybe like he is. they maybe yeah. w- it was inspired by Salacious Crumb. Yeah, he's got that mm-hmm. sort of like high pitched little evil laugh, and you know, yeah. <laughs> 
right? Jiggly ears oh, and stuff. Yeah. I, I uh, definitely, speaking of, I think you were absolutely right about that. I feel that, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yep. My next note about the gremlins, why so wet? They're so wet. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all moist they're throughout all so the entire. Moist. Yes. They're yes. so greasy. Why? <laughs> they all had like a slime on them. Yeah. They really yeah. did. They did. Um, I... Here's a specific note. Why? Where did he get that little hard hat from? <laughs> At one point, they always had props. Always right? had, the gremlins somehow had, had costumes yes. and props. Yes. Yeah. The the brainy gremlin yeah. had glasses. Yeah. And the pipe. The, yeah. Look, they the, they they, oh, they yeah. this movie, you know, they sort of uh it's broad. It's very broad. <laughs> they lean they, they lean, lean into the comedy. Yeah, and I th- and I and I actually mm-hmm. like I feel like they they kind of knew what they were much more than the first one did. You know, the first movie, mm-hmm. like, I don't think they kind of uh, knew what they were supposed to be. But this one is like, we're just going to go hard at the comedy and we're going to throw yeah. everything at the wall and it's not going to make any sense and it doesn't matter. <laughs> and to that point, I, I there is there is some, the, the one, like, actual insight that I feel like I had to the, the two movies. In the first movie, there's a very serious moment mm-hmm where Phoebe Cates' character, and it's funny, I refer to her as Phoebe Cates, and then Billy, I don't even know. Because he's not famous. (laughs) He's not, no. So Phoebe Cates (laughs) tells Billy a story, and it it really creates a bond between them when she tells him this story. And it's based in Christmas, which is when it's a Christmas movie, and it's essentially that her dad disappeared at Mm. Christmas. And this is why she hates Christmas, And she has this whole like, you know, trauma around it. And then they find out there's a smell in the house. It turns out her dad was trying to come down the chimney dressed as Santa to bring her her Christmas gifts. And he got stuck and he died in there. And started to decompose. And started to decompose. Yeah. Yeah. So dark. Right. It's it's super dark, but what it did was it bonded like it was like okay, Billy was like, oh my gosh, you've been through this horrible trauma. You're clearly a damsel in distress. I need to rescue you. But then it turned out she was strong, or maybe even stronger than he was, because she'd been broken, but she was strong at the broken places, kind of thing. Mm. And then in this movie, <laughs> she starts to tell a story about. A past trauma, and it's so ridiculous. And it's just, she's just babbling on and on about it that it's like, you motherfuckers. Yeah. This was, a, this was the, like, sort of the heart of the whole first movie. Uh, right. And now you're relentlessly mocking yes. it by making it where nobody wants to listen to your fucking story about your past trauma. <laughs> on Lincoln's birthday. Around, on Link, yeah, that was it. Yeah. Lincoln's birthday. Yeah. Yeah, they were yeah. making, they were yeah. totally making fun of that scene in the first of the movie. the first movie. Yeah. But I think that's yeah. okay. You know, I mean, they're, the, I, I. If you know what yeah. you're doing, because I mean, it was what gave the first movie heart between the human. Sure, you know, but uh, I mean, yeah. it's a movie. Like, <laughs> right? it's a movie. You can make fun of anything, even great, even things right. that are great. One hundred percent. That's fair. Yeah. But she, yeah. I mean, a hundo. she also, a hundo, <laughs> hundo, P, hundo P, baby, hundo P. Yep. Um, yep. You know, she was a total chump because Billy is being hit on by his overly New Yorker mm-hmm. boss. Yes. Right. right. And like basically just, you know, she's making out with him and he's like, oh, I mean, don't, I guess. I don't know. And yeah, then he has he, no spine whatsoever. No, he, and he doesn't yeah. tell Phoebe Cates. No. He doesn't say, "Hey, this is what she." Now, like, she's a total chump. Like, he's totally kind of cheating on her, and he's like, "That's fine. You're you're crazy. Well, I mean, what are you talking no, about?" I, I don't think Billy thought he was cheating on her. I think he honestly was stupid and naive he enough basically, to. He got a hand job in the restaurant. <laughs> I don't think it went I quite didn't that, go that far. far. No, we might not have been watching the same movie. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what a hand job is. No, was, that would not surprise me was, all that much. She was doesn't didn't she like feel? Oh, up his she put thigh, her hand like, on. Yeah, table? she put her hand on his thigh. I mean, we don't know. We don't know what was going on. That, there. Cat, cat. <laughs> That's that's not a no. And then she kisses him and stuff, and he doesn't say shit yeah, no, about a, it. He doesn't say he's shit. an idiot. Yeah. No, he's spineless. Yeah. He's oh, like yeah, he, Billy. He's, he's weak. Uh, but yeah. So <laughs> the, speaking of the boss, right? Uh, Billy's boss. Mm-hmm. Mike sure. kept calling her low rent Debbie Debbie Mazar. <laughs> 
Yes. It's, yeah. like, was it's, so like right. a, it's a role yeah. that Debbie Mazar was born to play, but they couldn't get Debbie Mazar. But didn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. Mike was not wrong. <laughs> no. It's one of the reasons why we always need to have Mike at these views. Yes. Everyone needs a Mike. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, man. So so yeah, like, all right. Let, let's just. What, what are some of the what are some of the gremlins like? There, there, oh. So that we, oh wait, we didn't. Uh, you, I mentioned. We didn't. Yeah. I said that my favorite gremlin was Lady Gremlin. <laughs> and then right. you, but bold, you guys didn't uh, say who your favorites were. Yeah, I, mean, I, I kind of. Kind of, uh, oh, kind right, of the right, opera, right. Okay. like I, yeah, flasher gremlin, mm-hmm. yeah, the veg, the vegetable one, yeah, the sort of John vegetable likes gr- flasher. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. I just <laughs> mentioned that there was a flasher gremlin. That's all. Back when, back when it was not considered, back when it was, it was light comedy and not yeah, sexual. I wrote, I wrote down. I have a, in note, I have a note that says gremlin that flashes Phoebe Cates. Yep. There you go. Man, they put TV gates through. We've got to learn to take more more copious notes, I think. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to find like just a lineup of all those fucking gremlins, but I can't find it anywhere. It's hard to okay, remember. So there was the, bre- the bat gremlin. gremlin and the spider, oh, spider yes. gremlin. Yeah, that, spider the and spider bat. one yeah, freaked no, me I out. Like I don't it. like the spider the one. The bat gremlin was, was kind of fun. It was yeah. cool. <laughs> well, the bat gremlin, yeah. And the, this is the bat gremlin is really more amazing after having yes. watched the key and Peele yes. one because they like they they give the whole sequence yeah. of events of the the, the life cycle yes. of the bat gremlin yes. in the movie mm-hmm. yep um okay can we talk about the moment that it gets really meta absolutely so, i mean the first well the first the about? first really meta moment in the movie was when they they showed leonard malton Oh right! Talking oh, about God. the movie yes. itself. Yep. Yes. Giving it a bad review, yes. I think too. So that was kind of and then, that was ballsy, don't you think? Yeah. That was fun. Yep. That was cool. For 1990, it was pretty like the the whole fourth wall breaking mm-hmm. and the fact that the gremlins show up while he's reviewing the movie yeah. that has clearly he's already yeah. watched. But these gremlins How who later may or may not have been killed are still mm-hmm. alive and are mm-hmm. able to. Yeah, I don't know if a he's movie reviewing can, if a movie can jump the shark. That's that's what we that's what we would <laughs> this movie jumped the shark in the first 10 minutes. Yeah, like it did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I thought that was kind of fun, you know, whenever it would, yeah. uh, it would kind of be self-referencing, you know, like when they, when they talked about the Lincoln's birthday, you know, it was clearly that was a joke about the first movie. Right. Um, yep. Yep. then there's also the Hulk Hogan moment also, also <laughs> highlighted oh. in the key and peel sketch where, where the, he breaks the right. fourth wall and talks to the audience. Right. Yeah. Well, it starts because the gremlins are in the projector, yes. to the projector room, and they're yep. fucking with the because film. that's what gremlins yeah. do. That was cool. That's what gremlins they, do, and that was right. kind of fun. That was fun. And Hulk Hogan is just in the audience, you know, trying, a typical audience member yeah. watching the movie, the same movie that we're mm-hmm. watching, except that somehow he's in mm-hmm. the movie. Mm-hmm. We're breaking all kinds of dimensional. And, it, and his yes. presence in the movie doesn't make any sense unless you under no. well, <laughs> unless you understand that at the time Hulk Hogan was a huge star. He was like the biggest icon. Yeah. Now nobody knows who he yep. is, but you know. Oh, I don't think that's true. I think people still know who he is, except now he's the guy who bankrupted Gawker <laughs> because he said the N word oh, while he? he was making oh, a sex. Oh my god! Tape. See, now oh, I haven't yeah. heard about any yeah. of this. <laughs> Oh, this is yeah. Oh, you gotta. No. It, this is Hundo P. Hogan. You gotta. You gotta hip yourself to this. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> you ruined no. Hulk Hogan for me now. The oh, Hulkster. He, yeah, I mean the the yeah. It's not so good. It's not so good. <laughs> not, what so there. good. not so I mean, good. <laughs> uh, he's rich now. He's he's rich because he won that suit, which was actually like bankrolled by uh, is it Peter Thiel. Uh, you know way more about this. I know. He's mad. Be- well, Peter Thiel was mad because Gawker magazine outed him against his will that he was a gay man. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, Hulk Hogan's gay? He couldn't. No, no, no. Peter oh. Thiel was gay. Peter Thiel was gay. And then what happened was he couldn't sue them. He lost his suit against them. But Gawker published like information and maybe even video from the sex tape of um, of Hulk Hogan. And Peter Thiel bankrupted his legal team 
to fight Gawker and he won and he won, I think, $20 million, which was enough to bankrupt the company. Jesus, John, I mm-hmm. cannot believe the kind of stuff that you retain. It's I can't impressive. either, but I have it's no control over these It's things. impressive, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the, the way that you said that, Kat, was very uh, not sure. <laughs> it comes in handy, though. Look, we just got, yes. uh, you know, we just learned something. I have frequently referenced my grade point average uh, when I graduated <laughs> high school as being 2.1. Uh, and that's not a lie. That is absolutely true. I graduated college with a much higher GPA, but I was a theater major, so take that right. where you will. But uh, I, yeah, I've always, I'm, I'm, I'm really good at remembering things I'm interested mm. in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Curriculum, <laughs> curricula have never had a big dent right. on me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's uh, move on. so, <laughs> oh yeah, and then I, then I wrote, New York, New York. Why? With three question marks after it. (laughs) Suddenly, Brady Gremlin decides he's going to start singing New York, New York York for no apparent reason. Yeah. Does a full-on production number with a lot of gremlins dancing dancing in the background. And at Mm -hmm. this point in the movie, there are, I'd say, hundreds of gremlins. Would you say there was like... There's just a shit ton of gremlins. At least dozens. Uh, they've taken fair. over the building, and yep. you know, but they're in the and they're, they've they've congregated in the lobby and they sort of turned it into mm-hmm. a bar, mm-hmm. almost like. Mm-hmm. And there's just it's like so a big many, party, right? There's so many fucking puppets. <laughs> there's so many Too of many. them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The the puppet budget on this movie. <laughs> <could get it. laughs> but I just want to blend that and make it the budget. <laughs> <laughs> the budget, nice. The they, budget. What kind know. of budget? What kind of budget we working with? I mean, <laughs> clearly, it they, was a lot. They, Here's yeah. the thing that. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Well, I wanted to make a comment about clamp because mm-hmm. okay, now we haven't even mentioned electric electricity <laughs> oh, gremlin. Yeah. That's right. Who only lives within the electrical right. system of the building and in yeah. the phone system? It's like the system. ghost in the machine. But, that's right? right. Exactly. But but clamp, it turns out, and this is what's interesting, is that it doesn't actually break the mythos of clamp being Trump because in the '90s we all loved Trump. He was mm-hmm. this this wacky rich mm-hmm. guy who had weird well, ideas, I and I wouldn't we say I loved hilarious. him, but I didn't no, hate him. Pop culture I didn't did. hate him. Right. Yeah. He he was if he showed up you'd be like, "Ooh, this is fun. Let's see what happens." Right. Now when he shows up you're like, "Oh my god, democracy mm-hmm. is dying." Mm-hmm. Right? Like that's that, it's a mm-hmm. very different vibe. Mm-hmm. Um but like the 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 clamp becomes like he's he's a fighter against the evil here. He's like he's actually not a bad Who guy. Clamp? Right. He he it's yeah. Who's the clamp. who's the evil hmm? then? The gremlins. Uh, the gremlins. Yeah. Okay. I guess he's kind of an anti-hero. He's a little bit of an anti-hero. He is. He. Is. Well, I mean, I feel like. Okay. Let's let's just put it this way. Let's pretend the building is Twitter, <laughs> and Clamp <laughs> is Elon Musk. Okay. Oh, I mean, I don't, not to not to make this too current events, but like, mm. he really he has good <laughs> intentions, but I don't know. That's where the analogy yeah. just dies. <laughs> But yeah, no, like, but, but Clamp, he, 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 it he turns out he's like, well, hmm? yeah, he kind of saves the day a little bit at the end. But there. He, he does. He says like, wait, you rented it to that lab. I told you not to. Like, mm-hmm. it turns out it was the right hand man who ends up married to Smurfette, you know, or is at least having <laughs> carnal knowledge of Smurfette gremlin, um, which she will always and forever be in my mind. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, but that, that guy, that guy is the one who brought them in. Well, sure, and he he believes Billy, and when Billy tells him about the gremlins, and he's like, right? "Okay, well, I got this plan. We're gonna go, and we're gonna put up this. We're gonna trick them into thinking it's nighttime, and then we're gonna." Oh, pop right, the yes, right. yeah. There's the whole that, that that whole uh, gambit, the whole plan. Yeah. which yeah, um, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's the because bright light is is bad for Mogwai and Gremlin alike. That's right. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows yes, that. That plot is just, it was so convoluted. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, the, yeah. So they're like, at one point, it turns into a musical, you know? I mean, yeah. it, it's sure. just like, well, there's the yeah. New York, and then New York, they had the it, dancing. Mm-hmm. Remember, like, the like aerial shot of them dancing? 
Yep. Right. Yep. <laughs> so many puppets. <laughs> 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 I, I just want to say, like, what what really went out the window it, that that was like I thought it grounded the first movie was sort of this relationship between Phoebe Cates mm-hmm. and Billy, and I'm not gonna like I'm not apologizing for that dichotomy of I'm using an actor's name and the oh, character's name. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, there, there was you were rooting for them because they worked together to do this. In this one, it's like. He's kind of half cheating on her, and she finds <laughs> out, but she forgives him. Uh, and then, yeah, like, what? I mean, messy, at, at best, messy. he's just a doofus, you know? I yeah. mean, let's face it. He's, he was always a doofus, but he was sort of a, a, a knight in shining armor yeah. in the first one. And this mm-hmm. one, he's just lost any kind of, you know, uh, chivalric, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, association that he had in the first one. Yeah. Chivalrous. Well, I mean, the other chivalric. thing that kind of, you know, is, is sucks is, and is a little sexist is that mm-hmm. that he's got he's like a fucking architect okay and yeah. and yeah. He's, he's like a draftsman, draftsman. Like he, and he, phoebe yeah. cates yeah. character is a fucking tour guide in the building right. yep who has to wear yeah. a and they silly both hat worked... right yeah. and they were both tellers yeah. in a bank Back in what's the name of the town they came from? Shepherd something. But, or, yeah, so they started off Cat? in the same from the same starting point. <laughs> yeah. Why is he yeah. a fucking but, architect? But he's a man. Yeah. So he advanced further. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Oh, you looked yeah. something up. <laughs> give me, give me two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. That's a lot and, of dead air. And cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Name of the town is is what? K- Kingston Falls. There we go. Right. Not Shepherd That's anything where they're like from, this. Kingston yeah. Falls. Yeah. And he was trying to make right. it look like Kingston Falls or something like that, right? Like he, yeah. That was yeah. the yeah. Clamp yeah. Center, yeah. which was going to be in right. Chinatown. He right. was designing it. Yeah. Well he had a he had a sketch yeah. mm-hmm. of the of that. And and that it turned out that that was what Clamp was really mm-hmm. wanting to do. Was make it so that rich people had safe places to live mm-hmm. uh, away from poor and people who. Yeah. Were so why poor. are you saying that Clamp right. wasn't a villain? He was totally a villain. <laughs> well, he he was he was, but he was that that kind of villain where he's just so rich he doesn't even know uh-huh. that he's doing the right. wrong stuff. Oblivious because he's like he, so clueless. There's like hmm? a turn. I feel like he's going to change his ways at the end of this movie. One hopes. One does hope. <laughs> Is that the name of this episode? Hundo P. It might be. I don't know. G2, I don't know. Hundo mm. P. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, here's the thing. I feel like this was a little disjointed, but no more oh. disjointed than the movie oh, itself. Trust me. This, I mean, I, this discussion has been way more coherent than the movie. <laughs> well, okay. Well, then let's see. I'm going to read you my last my last note. Oh, please. And we'll Hit see. Us. You tell me what's more incoherent, the movie okay. or this note. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Because I recognize the fox. Not instantly. This guy. What? Cat? <laughs> so what I think happened did, did... was my like voice to text, I think, was was activated and oh. I didn't know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, did you do an expired editing? <laughs> right? Is I don't that think like, I no, did. It's... I definitely did not. Okay, fair. And we'll get that joke. She will. She's mm-hmm. the only one. Um, mm-hmm. do you want me to read some reviews? I would love for you to read some reviews. <laughs> so this was um uh you know, of course Rotten Tomatoes, yeah. uh very well mm-hmm. known. Uh, they have a page d- dedicated to this movie. Um, My wife, w- Michelle, was very surprised at the score that the film received from Rotten Tomatoes. It is surprisingly high. It's a yeah. 71% on the tomato meter and 57% yeah. of the audience score. Mm-hmm. And um, the budget for this movie was... Uh, oh, it doesn't say the budget. Sorry. The the box office mm-hmm. gross was $40.5 million. Mm-hmm. But I wow. don't know what they spent on it. That would be interesting to know if they even made money. It, it seemed like it was a pretty high budget. It said between th- okay, so Wikipedia is guessing between thirty and fifty million. So they may have they may have made. Money. I mean, oh no, can, we, can I no, just they, interrupt here for a second and please, point out the fact yeah. that please. that uh, this movie was produced by 
uh, Frank oh Marshall and Steven, Steven Spielberg and Kathleen Kennedy. And, yeah. and Kathleen I mean, these Kennedy. are like the, the, the heavy hitters of movies and they're doing the, and they're yeah. doing G2. <laughs> Their name yeah. is on this But movie. same thing with uh, Howard the Duck. Remember? That's yeah. true. Same, actually yeah. same three, right? <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. I think there was an audible gasp in the backyard when <laughs> Steven Spielberg's was. name yep. appeared on the screen. We were all like, oh, oh I forgot about yeah. it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. You be. Um, so these are more current ratings, uh, okay. reviews, but still, uh, you know, you, got, you, you get the point. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Gremlins 2, the new batch, has so much comic energy that we overlook its lack of anything worth calling the plot. <laughs> Um, let's see That's here. True. Someone says the story is essentially a duplication of the original no. film. I don't. No, not, not even, even a little. No, the original the original film had a through yeah. line. You're wrong, <laughs> Mike Massey. You're just wrong. <laughs> Mike Massey, we challenge you to a duel. So, the, <laughs> so this review, um, it says full review in Spanish. So this is just a snippet, but keep that mm. in mind. Okay. An acidic look at U.S. <laughs> culture. <laughs> wow. Ouch. Did they go on to explain? Oh, I, I really wanted to hear can, more of that. I can open no. up the full review. I mean, it's in Spanish, oh. though. So. Well, let's see. I can choose English. Let's see the poorly translated mm -hmm. version here. Um, this page can't be translated. Well, that's a problem for me. That is a problem. Well, I'm sure it's really <laughs> <laughs> but it is absolutely okay. in Spanish. <laughs> we are out of luck, friends. Mm, what are you gonna do? Uh, here we go. This might be this might be our closer. It's dot 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 a lot of fun, considering the fact it is also based on the antics of a bunch of mean little puppets. <laughs> yeah, some of them yeah, weren't that folks. mean. Fair. I mean, <laughs> most I, of them are pretty. Googly like eye gremlin. I, I want to point gremlin out. Never did any harm. He. Oh, I don't. Really? I disagree. I think that's wrong. I think there were fatalities oh, in this film. There was yeah. blood and gore. People, human beings were yep. murdered yep. straight up <laughs> by gremlins. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think dummy gremlin. That's what I'm calling him. Uh, dummy I think, gremlin. I think he hurt some people. Yeah. Googly eyed gremlin or buck-toothed gremlin. No, no, it's all right. Well, it's funny. There was a dummy gremlin and there was a there was a, a brainy gremlin. Mm -hmm. uh, gr brainy gremlin survived longer than dummy gremlin. Does anybody remember how brainy gremlin died? Because I feel like it was interesting. Oh, he was part of the big. Um, didn't he get electrocuted at the end? Uh, by the electricity gremlin, yeah, who was then water. utilized to yeah, they were there was water oh, on the floor, yeah, mm -hmm. yep, and then uh, and then yeah, electricity gremlin just murdered all of his brethren. Yeah, they all kind of exploded. Um, yeah, total non sequitur here, but but they're mm. like it's fine. I <laughs> just remembered last. I think it was like a year ago. I saw a T-shirt at H and M. That had Gremlins 2 on it. And oh, no. yeah, with, you know, like a lot of, like all the Gremlins on it and everything. It was like actually kind of fun. Amazing. And I was like, oh, I totally want to get that. But I didn't buy it because it was like $200. <gasps> oh, and my it God. Was, uh, maybe not 200 but it was uh, a lot. It was a lot for a t shirt yeah. from HM. Too yeah. much. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. That's kind of I'm fun, just saying, you know, this was like a year ago. So clearly there are other people who are obsessed with this movie. <laughs> not just us. Not just we us not and Kian Peel. <laughs> oh, God. Now, I have a question because I don't remember yeah. from the first movie. Did the did did the gremlin know how to speak? Like the, the original gremlin. The, the, the original the, gizmo. Gizmo? All of them communicate in sort of like, like halting monosyllabic they they can make like they can make their intentions but they don't known. speak english right mm. well they, they're sometimes oh. one word is like they'd be like a oh or okay. something. <laughs> I don't know. but but yeah no brainy brainy gremlin as we are want to call him uh is like he's the first one who actually right. can speak in complete okay. sentences at all and what i love is he's actually interviewed and justifies what the gremlins are doing yeah 
It's it's yeah. very funny. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 But I'm just asking because yeah. I don't remember mm -hmm. Gizmo talking in the first movie. And then in this movie, he says Rambo. Remember that? Yeah. Right. Well, in right. the first movie, he said, Oh, Frank right. Frank yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that was, and I think that was yeah. it. Well, he's Maybe learned how to a couple say Rambo. Yeah. And then he becomes obsessed Rambo. with Rambo yeah. and he's got like the bandana on his head. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. That. It was like they were kind of doing, you know, parodies of other movies, including Rambo and, right. you know, some other stuff. Right. So it, it's like they, it was just so, um, uh, Ref, it was like there were a lot of references in it and a lot of um, mm -hmm. meta moments, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Some that might not be recognized by the youth of today <laughs> because they wouldn't be familiar with yeah. what was in the zeitgeist at the time. Right. Like, I don't think kids made. today yeah. know mm -hmm. Rambo. Right. Yeah. Probably not. Something mm. interesting that I just found people are watching Columbo reruns now. It's become Aww. very hip to watch Peter Falk mm -hmm. in Columbo, which I think is great, but yeah. it's also it's super weird. random. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like like what's what's next? Uh Telly Savalas in in Kojak? Kojak. Yeah. I don't know. Could happen. <laughs> <laughs> it could. <laughs> it could. <laughs> Things are happening all the time. That could be one of them. That's fair. That's mm -hmm. fair. <laughs> Um, well, I, let me tell you this. Uh, that Looney Tunes cartoon was not voiced by... Uh, Mel Blanc. Oh. Mel Blanc. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. His his reputation remains non-besmirched. Yes, but unfortunately, <laughs> Chuck Jones, who is known to have written and directed a lot of the early Looney Tunes, mm -hmm. he came out of retirement to do oh, those no. stupid Looney Tunes. That's so oh, sad. Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> so this is what his last thing so was. sad what are you thinking Oy, Chuck? Man. well you know Come i mean on, you don't know you know when you when you, you sign a contract for the thing you don't know it's gonna be that bad it might have been amazing and then it would have been a great <laughs> way to go needed, out maybe he needed out. the work you know like maybe. maybe i hope chuck jones didn't but he might have <laughs> It's hard to know what people got for what they did back then, even though That's we recognize. Look, I mean, look, story. Harry Nilsson, yeah, who right. was an amazing, amazing musician, you know, by mm -hmm. the end of his career, he was hawking songs. He was like going around, you know, like a traveling salesman trying to like hawk his songs mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, other groups and commercials and shit like like. Yeah, and now his yeah, genius exactly. is recognized, but it's yeah. too late for his ass. Yeah. So. so you never know. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. You know how hard somebody needs a job. So I'm not going to hold it against yep, Chuck true. Jones. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, just like <laughs> made a face. His, his... <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> so I mean. Not, the fuck, not, Chuck? not, yeah. this is not a spoiler, but like at the end of the movie, the, there's a nut, the fucking Daffy Duck comes back during the end credits. <laughs> <Yes>. oh, <yes. laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh. He takes, yeah. he, he brings us in and he takes us yeah. out. Terrible. You, know, awesome. you got to leave with the one what brung you. Just <laughs> bad. <laughs> well, listen, oh. I feel like have we've we, done have it. Have we covered everything I think we, we need did. to cover? I think we did. I oh, so. there, there's so much. I just, I don't know if we could ever, like, we when when we listen to this after Anne has expertly edited it, yes. I am certain that we'll be like, oh, I didn't mention mm -hmm. X mm -hmm. or Y. But, you know, if we live in the past, we die in the past. So we, we, we've got to move on. <laughs> <laughs> I think we covered so true, all of John. them. My notes, yeah. except for one. I wrote, oh, Fooey. Do you remember when... <laughs> Do you remember when baby Kate's goes fooey? Oh, and I just, yeah. I wrote it down yeah, yeah. I'm like, nobody says fooey. Says that. <laughs> what part was that? It's, Why was she saying I don't that? remember. I don't remember. Oh, okay. John? I, I could, I could hazard a guess, but it'll okay. probably be wrong. Okay. It might've had something to do with the low rent, uh, Debbie Mazer <laughs> character. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, revealing that, that yes, while she was into Billy originally, now she wants to get into Clamp's pants. So that's yeah, yeah, because they do end up together. Let's not oh, forget. Yeah. Oh, let's not forget that mm -hmm. she was a she was a, 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 a real point. climber. So yeah. you know, I think she got what she wanted. Yeah, 
God. Yeah. But but again, Mr. Clamp looks like Christian Bale in American Psycho. Oh, he's not nearly as hot. No, of yeah. course not. But he still looks like him. <laughs> yeah, he had kind of like that Gavin Newsom hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So Gavin Newsom and Christian Bale had a baby, and it was <laughs> oh. Mr. Clamp. I think they're right. Nailed it. Yep. They had a Nailed baby it. that that Boom. was significantly less attractive than both of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've we've seen it happen. Uh, Brad Pitt has a brother. You know. Oh. Yep. I'm just saying. Really? And you? And is he not attractive? Listen. If Brad Pitt didn't exist, I'm sure that his brother would be considered attractive. <laughs> But because, he, no, here, here's how it plays out, right? He looks just enough like Brad Pitt that you're like, huh? And then it's like, then you look at the rest of it. Uh-huh. Oh, no. It's, it's. So, yeah, so he's no, like hot from uh, the neck up, but then. Oh, oh, okay. No, not even that. It's like there are certain features <laughs> that, that he shares in common with Brad Pitt, but then it's like, it's just, you're like, oh, but mm, no. Not quite. Like, missed it by. He, he was like, he much. was like the first pancake. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now you need to Google okay, Brad Pitt's brother and just. Oh, check do you want me to do yep. that right yep. now, or? Uh... I mean, no. why not? Why not? I mean, we're not. We got nothing better. I to can do, tell you about the time I peed in a Ziploc bag. No, no. We're, we're gonna, gonna save that. We're saving. That is gold. I mean, that does probably the actual color as well. But... Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna brother. save that. Patty really brother. wants to tell that story. Uh, uh, she does. Okay. You're gonna tell. It's gonna be good. Oh. Yep. <laughs> okay, now yep. I have to do Was it. I right you know, or was I right or so was I right? right? He really <laughs> he has a little bit of Brad Pitt's look, but it's just not there yet. Yeah. No, oh, it's, it's like he, he, he got Doug pulled out Doug. like half Oh, cooked. you're like, it "Oh, was, Doug, like you know a, him." He's Yeah, it's Doug. Uh-huh. Sure, that guy. He's you know, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine, cat. He seems nice. He's he's mm-hmm. fine, but he's not he's <laughs> he's not get. He's not like fine. Yeah. He, he's, you know, he kind of reminds me yeah. a little bit of. Uh, you know the guy from Scrubs. The the. Yes, Zach Braff. Yes, yes. Yeah. He reminds me mm-hmm. a little okay. bit of him. Yeah, the eyes. Uh, okay. And also a little bit of Ryan Reynolds. No, not mm. seeing that. Yeah, no. <laughs> so Ryan Reynolds and uh, yeah. Zach Braff is that his name? Have, have yeah. a baby. <laughs> that baby's Doug Pitt. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going the whole way on that. One, that's a, that's oh, a, that's you're not going all. That, that's where I draw the line. Cat. That's where I think we line. should just do. I think we should just do a show where all it is is like so and so and so and so had a baby. <laughs> I love it so oh, much. I would make that. I will make that episode. <laughs> okay, Kat, I will that. commit to that. So we've already got down. the yep. Doug Pitt, yep. and then we've all and we've also got um, Gavin Newsom. Oh, <laughs> Gavin Newsom. Gavin, yep. Yeah. And uh, what's his name? Gosling. <laughs> oh no, no, there was no. no, no was, what did we say? It was, Christian, uh, Bale. Chris, Christian Bale. Christian, Christian Bale. Bale and yeah. Gavin Newsom. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny amazing. to me. Oh dear, <laughs> this is completely oh ridiculous. My God. Mm-hmm. You know, I used to have a theory. I used to have a theory that really that, funny. and these are both people whom I who I I greatly admire and I love their work. But I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. Yeah. I used to think that Adam Scott mm-hmm. and Tig Notaro were the same person. <laughs> I think she. I think she gets. Gets that a lot. Well, and and then I I, and then I found a photo of the two of them together, and it was like, oh well, I guess I was wrong. So. Oh, that's really funny. I, it, I I love them both. I, if they were the same person, I would love that person twice as much as I like either of them separately. But. So I think so that okay. Continuing mm-hmm. in our game. Yeah. Adam Scott and Tig Notaro have a baby. <laughs> it's Tom Cruise. What? No. What? Oh, come on. No. Yes. Um, Look at a young Tom Okay, Cruise. maybe a little bit. <laughs> maybe. Like 80s okay. Tom Cruise. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's see. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, it's been a while since like. I've seen like a young, you know, young Tom Cruise. Oh, that's, wow. That's right. right? Come on. A <laughs> little bit. Right now, a little who, bit. Who's going into this? Who's going yeah. into this recipe again, Kat? So it's, I'm, I'm, I'm so I put a, I put a photo into the chat. Okay. It's, it's Adam Scott and Tig Notaro. Oh. Okay, I, I put one into our uh, shared uh, chat as and well. And then, let's see, Tom Cruise, let's say 1980s Tom Cruise. I'm going to do a little Google in here, 1980s Tom Cruise. Okay, why What? Why oh, are oh, Tig Notaro and Adam Scott in that photo together? Like, <laughs> what are they? That's a great question. To prove <laughs> that they're not the same person. See, no this idea. is the other is thing, too. It's like, Dance? I don't yeah, know that they've ever worked Film together. Festival. This could be Photoshopped. Oh, to prove, cool. like to 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 disprove my It says, it my says it's Sundance Film together. Festival, so maybe they did work on something, a movie together that was. Uh... It's possible. It's very possible. I Tig really like Tig's work in Severance. Um, <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm sorry, that's Adams. <laughs> that was a cool. That was a cool uh, show. Uh... Oh, I'm loving it. It season two has it to is. happen. For it that, is happening. But yeah. mm-hmm. Uh but oh, yeah, good. we like yeah. Mike and I are always quoting that show. Like the uh, the mm-hmm. egg bar is coveted as fuck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I believe we have devolved away from G two oh, at this yeah. point, and I uh, I think we have covered G <sighs> two as much as G two ever deserved to be covered. Agreed. Am I right? Yeah. So, Patty Lynn, thank you so much for. <laughs> Coming and watching the film with the film. I don't know. Film is that, is that the movie for watching the movie with us and uh, and suggesting it in the first place? Yes. Because this might have been an episode about killer clowns from outer space. I if, have not uh, seen that. And I, and I, yeah, I've not. Really? Yeah, so I definitely want to. Is that, is it bad? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. I think, I think in the so. best right. way. Don't watch it high. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> It'll fuck you up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's it's. I mean, it's literally like clowns are scary anyway, right? These are really ugly clowns who came to Earth in a flying saucer and oh, they okay. just kill people. Right. So mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, look, G two. <laughs> it's it's not a great movie, but uh, but no I no one's gonna like, argue. You know, with you honestly, on that. if I had to, if I had to uh, choose between watching. G2 or the original Gremlins, I might choose mm-hmm. G2. Just wow. because sure. it's it's okay. more fun. I, I It's yeah, it's it's yeah. lower stakes, right? Like I mean it's just mm-hmm. it's pure fun with no, you know, n- nothing right. nothing deeper. Right. It's not trying to prove anything to anyone. Nope. Nope. Except that hey, look, we this we made a sequel. And now the Gremlins can dance. <laughs> look at all these look at all these puppets. Yep, and wear glasses and sing New York, New York. Cute little props we put on them. Yep, yep. (laughs) I love it. I love it. Well, again, thank you. I think this is the time on uh, the My Mistake podcast when maybe when we fuck my pants. Sure. I hope you do. All right. Would you like to start off and we'll we'll finish them off? I'll I'll fuck (laughs) my. No, I'm not gonna fuck. (laughs) I was gonna say I'll fuck (laughs) my pants, but no. Mother no, was going to come after no, you. No, I don't want Mother to come after uh-huh. you. Yeah. Um, yeah, FMP. 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 